This video will demonstrate some of the features of the MightyVac Cooling System Test Kit Model MV4560. This kit consists of a manual pressure pump and four adapters to connect the test kit to the cooling system. Two additional adapters can be used to test the radiator or coolant bottle cap. The kit diagnoses the presence of leaks in an automotive cooling system by pressurizing the system and monitoring the pressure. External leaks can be identified by the seepage of fluids resulting from the pressure. Internal leaks, which may not be visible, can be diagnosed by performing a quick engine on test. Note, always wear eye protection when performing any cooling system test and never remove the radiator or coolant bottle cap or attempt to pressurize the engine until it cools down. Be aware you may need the service manual for your engine to look up the manufacturer's recommended operating pressure of the cooling system. To perform a static pressure test, be sure the cooling system is cool and not pressurized. Carefully remove the radiator or coolant bottle cap. Note, ensure the radiator or coolant bottle is filled to the proper level. Also, repair or replace any hoses showing visible leaks or damage. To start the test, select the correct adapter for your system. Apply water or coolant to the rubber gasket and or o-ring on the adapter. Install the adapter in place of the pressure cap on the radiator or coolant bottle. Attach one end of the clear hose to the cooling system test adapter using the compression nut. Next, secure the second end of the hose to the pressure pump using the compression nut provided. Make sure to note the operating pressure of the cooling system shown on the cap or in the vehicle repair manual. On the face of the pressure gauge, colored arrows indicate the pressure rating of the cooling system, while colored bands indicate the range of the corresponding cap. Operate the pressure pump until the needle on the gauge moves to the arrowhead at the end of the colored band indicating the appropriate pressure range of the cap. Note: Do not pressurize the cooling system beyond the color of the arrowhead for your system. Monitor the gauge for at least two minutes. If the pressure reading drops, there's a leak. With the system still pressurized, check all hoses and connections for seepage which would indicate a leak. Most leaks are external. However, a drop in pressure with no visible leakage can indicate a blown head gasket or cracked block. Visually inspect oil and transmission fluids for signs of coolant. Performing a dynamic pressure test is a better method of diagnosing internal leaks. To perform a dynamic pressure test, press the pressure relief lever on the pump. Start the engine and monitor the pressure gauge. An immediate and rapid pressure buildup indicates a breach between a cylinder and the cooling system, most likely a blown head gasket. Immediately turn off the engine and press the pressure relief lever on the pump. Disconnect the test kit and replace the head gasket. If no immediate or rapid pressure buildup occurs, operate the pressure pump to bring the system to normal operating pressure. If the needle on the pressure gauge vibrates rapidly, it indicates a smaller compression or combustion leak into the cooling system, possibly caused by a damaged block or head. Turn off the engine and press the pressure relief lever. Repair the leaks and retest. If no abnormal pressure buildup is shown, press the pressure relief lever. Let the engine run until it reaches normal operating pressure and temperature. Turn off the engine and allow it to cool with pressure still applied. Check for leaks as the engine cools. A leak caused by a slightly loose hose clamp or a stuck hose clamp that gives a false sense of tightness may only be noticeable during cool down. Warning: Do not press the pressure relief lever or attempt to disconnect the pump or adapter until the engine is completely cool. This equipment is not designed to release pressure from a hot engine. Doing so will allow hot fluid to be released, possibly causing severe personal injury. Refill the engine coolant if necessary. When testing is complete, disconnect the test kit, clean and store the components properly. The MV4560 kit contains two adapters for testing radiator or coolant bottle caps. Each end of the two adapters is matched to one of the four system adapters and is designed to test the cap for that system. 
Ensuring the cooling system is cool and not pressurized, carefully remove the radiator or coolant bottle pressure cap. Compare the pressure cap to each end of the two cap adapters to determine the appropriate matching end. Assemble the cap to the cap adapter. Next, assemble the opposite end of the cap adapter to the appropriate cooling system test adapter. Secure one end of the clear hose to the pressure pump using the compression nut. Then, secure the second end of the hose to the cooling system test adapter using the compression nut. Determine the rated cap pressure. It should be printed on the cap or in the vehicle manual. Compare this value to the chart to determine the acceptable pressure test range. Operate the pressure pump until the cap releases pressure. The pressure should relieve when the needle is in the colored band on the gauge face corresponding to the test range of the cap. Discard and replace the cap if it fails to relieve pressure in the indicated range. When testing a used cap, consider the seal may have retained an impression left by the seat of the filler neck. Remove, reassemble, and retest the cap several times if necessary before rejecting the cap for a leak. When testing a new cap, the seal is new and has never been softened by heat. Some breaking in of the seal may be necessary to prevent it from leaking. When testing is complete, release the pressure by pressing the pressure relief lever located on the pump. Disconnect the components, clean, and store them.